On the front page of this week's edition, The Right Stuff, How Development Gets Done in Over the Rhine. It's been nearly 10 years since work began to bring that neighborhood back to life. North Point Group, the real estate group led by Rick Kimbler, is one of the lead developers. North Point's been part of the more than $41 million in development with Cincinnati Center City Development Corporation, 3CDC, and Over the Rhine, and has another $11 million of projects in progress. Kimbler joined us two weeks ago to talk about another North Point project, a $20 million Cincinnati apartment tower to be built here above the 7th and Broadway garage. The seven-story apartment tower will have 110 high-end apartments and is another example of Cincinnati's long-awaited urban renaissance. This particular project is unique in that we, we really have had very little what we would call mid-rise construction in Cincinnati. Uh, there's been one or two towers along the river, one in Mount Adams, uh, one or two in Walnut Hills, but, but some of those are 20-plus years old. Since 2004, Kimbler has been working with 3CDC on new development and redevelopment in Over the Rhine. 3CDC has invested $260 million to date in OTR and expects, expects to invest millions more. Currently, 3CDC has about $80 million worth of ongoing projects in Phase 5 of OTR development. That includes the $53.5 million Mercer Commons project at 13th and Vine that will bring 126 rental units and 28 condos to that neighborhood. Well, all the partners have been selected for Phase 5, but 3CDC is taking names and numbers for when they begin planning later phases. Business Courier Editor Rob Dahlmeyer joins us to talk more about this. First of all, Rob, would you explain what 3CDC is and how it operates? Yes, 3CDC, when it was formed, it was formed as a public-private corporation. So it was the city's um, idea to get somebody else other than city people involved to take advantage of new market tax credits. Also, uh, corporate Cincinnati got involved, so that's where the money comes from. 3CDC's main job is to make sure that it is spent in the right way, and they have been brilliant over the last decade plus at making sure they make good management investments and really what that comes down to is picking the right people. So doing it right, what does that mean in the big picture for 3CDC? So at the beginning it meant finding people who would be interested in developing over the Rhine. It's tough. These are tight spaces. These are historic buildings. There's a lot of regulations involved because you can't just tear down anything you want to tear down. Now it's a bit different. A lot of developers want to get involved in over the Rhine. 3CDC right now really what they're concerned with is taking a look at these developers and making sure that they're the exact right people. They go back and look at their old projects, they look at their financing, they look at their bonding, and they make sure everything is lined up. As a matter of fact, we talk to some big developers in town all the time who say they just can't get in with 3CDC because they just don't have, the, 3CDC doesn't think they have the, the high enough standards, which is amazing when you think about it. Well, they've gone with established builders, North Point, Urban Sites, Model Group. Uh, are there opportunities, though, for others to get involved in this? Absolutely, and actually 3CDC really wants to get smaller, newer developers involved. But what's not going to happen is people aren't going to call the developer. 3CDC is not going to go out and call these developers. So what needs to happen is the developers need to get in touch with 3CDC and then have all their ducks in a row. Um, they really need that the, the level of professionalism that you have to have to work with 3CDC right now is high. And it's the whole reason that Over the Rhine redevelopment has worked because 3CDC has, has made very few missteps. All right, the article is called The Right Stuff. We talked with 3CDC people in that article. They couldn't be here today, but thank you for filling in, Rob. We appreciate you. you very much.